Hola, friends. I just picked myself up an Xbox 360. I've never owned one until now. It's 2017. But hey, better late than never. So I got it home. It was guaranteed to work, and I actually did load a game in um, until I heard a terrible clacking inside the DVD drive. So I took it apart and found the classic magnet thing, and I'll show you that. Got it all back together, put it back in, and it started making a different problem. So uh, it looks like I'm going to have to tear it apart and figure out what's going on. So join me. Let's get started on this. First step for me, I like to actually take the cover off. So um, if you turn it to the this side here, there is this little mark in the plastic. My fingernails are not super strong, but I'm able to just grab it and uh, pry out just a little bit on it until it pops and then just uh, continue to pull it off, set it to the side. Next, uh, I'm gonna open up these plastic grates on the ends here. This is a little bit tricky. I'll have to show you what I mean. In order to pop off this plastic piece, there are these little nubs that you have to get to. Um, you can actually see them through here. There's one here, one in the middle here, and then one on the, on the end. So starting from the end that's uh, popped free, let's go ahead and stick the screwdriver down uh, somewhere probably around in here, around where that uh, hole is filled in. So you put a screwdriver in and I kind of like push down and sort of pry it out a little bit. You'll see the bottom start to pop off. There's that one. And then we come to the middle and do the same type of thing, just kind of work it down. This one's coming off nicely. And then the last one here, I think this is the hardest one to get to. You just kind of push in and walk it, walk it down. And then on the other side, same thing. Voila! Take that one off. The other side is essentially the same. You'll flip it around. And same process. Yeah, so this can be a little bit tough. Finally got that one off. <clears throat> now, a lot of people will actually do something that I think is not good, which is to tell you to take these latches off on the front first. Um, I think you should start on the back. I find it a lot easier. This is the infamous uh, plastic clips. They make a special tool that punches in here. Um, if you see these little holes in the plastic, two on this side below where the power plugs in and uh, five along this side here where the internet and video plug in. So the easiest way to do this is actually uh, using two hands. So I will kind of pry with my fingers on the end while I poke a straight head screwdriver into these slots here. So let me see if I can show you exactly. You'll poke and just press straight in, just press straight in. Um, you'll feel a little piece of plastic and then you'll hear a, a snap and that, that broke free. It didn't open up much here, but it did. You heard the snap, same thing. Just kind of push straight in. We're not walking anything. We're just pushing straight in. There we go. It didn't break. It sounds like it is, but it's not. Keep that held apart and do the same thing with the other side. It keeps snapping back together.
You almost need someone to help you pull this apart. Last one's being a pain. There we go. So this is what you're ultimately doing here. Lift this off. You're ultimately just pushing in on these large tabs to get them to unlock. So it's not really that hard. It's just you have to hit them all. So once that happens, you have the back open, turn it around. We'll start with this side over here, closest to the DVD drive. I'm upside down right now. Just use a little pry, uh, screwdriver to pry out that one on the end. Lift up on it so it pops out of there. Get this one here. There. You may have to tear your Microsoft sticker. This is uh, This will void the warranty. but I think it's a little late for that. So let's just lift the whole top off now. Exposing yet more pieces. I actually didn't have the Torx bit to fit on these little screws here, but on the um, Xbox, there are these little torque screws that you've got to take out all around. Um, if you can see this one in the divot right here. Uh, what I actually did is I found a straight screwdriver in my kit to fit into the hole, the star hole, because there are uh, a lot of bits in there. So I just kind of put it in there, and then uh, I was able to hopefully not strip it and take out uh, a series. I think there's six of these. There's long bolts here. When you screw them out that far, they'll just pull on out. So let's just go around. Uh, that's one of them. Here's another one. I believe this one here. If you pull one out and it's really short, just go ahead and put it back. Because we're only working on the DVD drive on this one. So we don't need to take out anything more. That's four screws out already. Five. And so it looks like there's six of them. Put those off to the side. The next thing we'll look at is taking off this uh, chrome, chrome button on the DVD drive. It's not too tough. Just use a small flat screwdriver to get under here and just start prying it little bits. Don't be too forceful on it, but it takes a little bit to pop off the plastic. I like to get this out of the way so we don't break it. Flip it over. And take the plastic off the top. Should just lift off Keep snagging here and there all right finally getting down to it a little bit now here's the dvd drive uh, in order to unplug this we are going to get in here pull out this white plug and this black sata plug this white one is for the power Black one is the SATA for the for the data. Sometimes you gotta stick your hand in. Now you can pull this drive up a little bit. The screws holding it down, but the cable's really short, so you can't pull it up too far. You need smaller fingers. All right, now that those cables are out, we're just going to lift the drive on out. Just lift it up evenly. There's some plastic pegs. And free that. 
shablam. So to keep these videos from being extremely long, I'm going to go and break this down. You can go on to the next part and look at the magnet problem that people are having with their Xbox DVD drives, or you can go to part three and just continue with the drive replacement if you have a new drive and you're just looking to put it in. See you soon.